Hey guys, it's Alex from Alex's Creative Corner here. And this, oh, let me. And this is part number three out of three. So the final part for mini miniature Sunny's tutorial from Wings of Fire, the sand wing. Um, and in this, so when you're starting, you should have the whole body and wired. Um, you should have done, made this in parts one and two, and then wired it in between, like wired it before this part. Um, if you don't know how to wire it, just, I have a tutorial on that. It uses a little bit of a bigger dragon, but still the same idea. Um, and use 20 gauge wire. I used silver wire. Sorry if, there, if you can hear any noise in the background. I'm not sure if you can hear it on the camera, but my dog is doing something. Um, so we're going to start off like this. Make sure your room, your loom is in like this um, configure, configuration. It's offset and like the middle row is one back. Um, so anyways, what we're going to do is on the seventh peg from the from here from the top I guess um we're gonna be using for my for the stomach I used uh, pastel yellow go down three times double looping pastel yellow then diagonally to each side do a double loop gold and then down once in the middle um on both sides go down once with a double loop yellow and also in the middle on both sides go down di um go down with a double looped um neon orange and then in the middle go down once with a double looped orange and then the sides diagonally inwards so here double loop orange here double loop orange and then cap that peg off with an orange wrapped around four times or five if you want. And then double loop an orange for the holding band, double loop yellow for the holding band. So that's where I am. We're going to be using, well, I'm going to use, one second use the solar the solar yellow that we were using earlier um for on these spots on the legs and wings i'm gonna use that for the just the stitching bands and they're gonna be we're gonna put them on loosely on here so take one of the stitching bands that you're using i'm using this I don't, I don't know what it's called, Jupiter or something. I'm just going to call it solar yellow. So wrap it around this peg twice and this peg twice. Put two onto that peg, two onto that peg, and two onto that peg. Um, now make sure you have either your alpha loom band white or just normal white. It's better for the mini dragons to use the alpha loom white on the teeth because it's smaller. So we're going to start to loom, but don't go ahead because we're going to start to attach stuff. So loom the first top two double loop bands, next two, and then the next two in the middle. So we're going to make our teeth. If you're using the alpha loom white, wrap it around three times. So you have three loops. That's one tooth. Loom up that set. Slide on the tooth and loom over. Once again on the other side. You can loom up once again on the sides. Middle go down once. And then we are going to make the tongue you what you need are three fuchsia bands or pink something like that whatever you want to make the tongue color as so um, make a cap band of that color double loop one slide on the cap band reclaim 
double loop another, slide that on, and reclaim. That's your tongue. Put that on all four loops onto that peg. Loom up once in the center, and then on this side, and the other side. Now with this part, be careful because it, like, the band might snap because there's a lot of tension in it. Loom that. Then the next one, and the next one. You can tie off that end. Now, carefully take this off your loom. Um, hopefully I didn't just break that. You can tug out the loose bands that we added. Um, one to each side. Like that. I think I made a little mistake, but I'll fix that more later. Anyways, um, we're going to move on to the last part of the stomach, which is like the actual stomach part. So I'll tell you what to do. So in the third peg from the bottom, oh, and also change the configuration of your loom. Just move the middle row up. So it's like this. It's still offset. So on the third peg from the bottom, um, with your pastel yellow, go down three times double looping it, or four times double looping it, then diagonally, um, like this, upwards, double looping it, and then in the middle, go down the rest of the way, which is six times, and then where you left off right here, go down six times double looping it, and then diagonally. Um, and then for the holding bands, I just double looped all of these. They're diag diagonal. Um, here to there, here to there, here to there, 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 there. You all know what double looping is. Just double looping it and putting it on. Um, I'm going to push it down a little bit on all of them. And what I'm going to do is with the Jupiter Solar Yellow, one at a time, onto all of these pegs. Put two onto this peg. To there, to there, up, oh. to there, and then get that little piece, this piece that we made, um, and make sure that the tongue is facing upwards. Go through that end set that we tied off, go through all four loops. Take off the tying band um, and put all four loops onto that top peg. Now lift up the top two loops of the ones that we just put on and put two solar yellows onto that peg. Now replace the two loops that we took off.
now we're going to start to loom. So we have these loose bands on there. Try to ignore them. If they fall off, replace them, obviously. But we're just going to loom this. skipped one right here or it fell off so if it falls off you just want to replace it and for this you want to tie off the end. Um if you cuz I'm going to end up wrapping this end on the tail. So I'm going to make it orange cuz that's what this if it's going to wrap around. I'm just going to make it orange. Doesn't really matter, but this I think orange would be the less the least visible color on there cuz that's the color of the sail. So now I'm going to take this off of the loom. And we're going to tug out all of these side loose bands to the side. And in the spots where there's two on each set, pull one to each side. Okay, so here's the finished stomach. Now we're going to attach it. Um, so get your dragon, sunny so far, um, I'm going to lay the, bel the belly on, see how well it fits, the face part fits on, and everything. Now I'm going to flip it over like that so the tongue is facing up, and I'm going to get my hook. Go into this yellow set. It's the set right after the second tooth set. So right there. Um, and I'm going to grab my belly. Make sure the tongue is facing up. And grab the first of these. I'm going to zoom in. Um, the first of these loose bands. The stitching. This one will be doubled. So pull both of those loops. And then go into the next set in the neck it's gold go through all, all four loops grab the next um loop from the belly the next loose loop pull it through everything so you should just have that one loop on there now i'm going to go into the next set grab the loop pull it through next set Grab the loop, pull it through, and we're just going to keep doing this on this side. It's pretty simple, pretty repetitive.
Um, so we're just going to keep going. I'm getting to like the tail part. Um, so I finished up this side. Do not do the orange band yet. Just do the, um, like, solar yellow ones on the side. Once you finish this side, get pencil, toothpick, extra hook, something like that to hold, to put that loop around. I'm just gonna put that aside. Now we're just gonna do the exact same thing on this other side. So going from the inside to the outside. So hook th from the inside to the outside through the four yellow loops behind the teeth. I'm gonna grab the double bands right there on the jaw. And I'm just gonna go through the next loops. Take the next um, solar yellow. Grab it, pull it through. Just keep going. Nearing the end. And remember, don't do the orange band yet once you get there. Um, I'll tell you what to do there. So once you've done the last solar yellow, you should have a loop on your hook and then one on your holding hook or pencil. So make so grab that other loop and have it so both loops are on your hook. And what we're gonna do, grab those two loops with your fingers and then go to the top of your dragon, so right above there, and go in through the sail and then through the tail and so your hook's coming out at the bottom. Put the two loops um, of the solar yellow onto your hook, like that, and then grab the loose orange band um, and pull that orange band through everything, like that. So now you have this orange band on top. I'm gonna wrap that around the tail just once. So don't stretch it all the way. You can push the tail in there because it could break if you do if you stretch it all the way around. Um, and so now, if, since it didn't orange, you can't really see it when it's on that part. And then there, it's kind of minor. Um, so, there's your finished Sunny Sandwing Mini Dragon from Rainbow Loom, or out of Rainbow Loom. Um, now, if you put wire in yours, you can pose it. 
put it in any type of poses you want it to. Um, Yeah, so this is what Sunny looks like if you want to, if like the mouth kind of opens a lot, or if you want it to, um, you can wire the bottom jaw. Oh, I'm so zoomed in. You can, you can wire the bottom jaw, so you can either have it stay closed, stay like that, stay open. Move it, whatever you want it to be. So if you do that, that'd be cool. And then you can just make any adjustments that you want to make. Um, Because this is it, you're done. Hope you like the way it turned out. can adjust the eyes, make them pop out more or pop out less, I guess, if you want to do that. But here's Rain Mini Rainbow Loom Sunny. I um, hope you like how it came out. And yeah, um, so um, my next tutorial is going to be on Peacemaker the Nightwing. Rainwing hybrid. I guess Sunny's also a little bit of a hybrid, but I don't know who else I would do for the mini sandwing. And she looks like a sandwing other than the tail barb, but I think it looks great. Hope y'all do too. Um, yeah. So go f check out my Instagram, follow it. I'm g getting close to 2,000 followers. Um, yeah, just a hundred away. Um, yeah, so I post a lot on there. You can go check that out. Her post will probably already be there by the time this video is posted. Yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope yours turned out great. See you in the next video. Bye.